ever wonder how Australia manages to produce millions of tons of mangoes each year? Mangoes are more than just a juicy, fragrant fruit down under. They're a significant part of the economy, a cultural icon, and a symbol of the Australian summer. This vibrant, tangy fruit has a story to tell, a story that's rooted deep within the heart of Australian agriculture. So buckle up, because today, we're going to take a deep dive into the process of mango farming in Australia. Mango farming begins with the careful selection and planting of mango seeds or grafted saplings. This is no random choice, but rather an art and science combined, as the success of the crop heavily relies on this initial decision. To start off, farmers must choose between planting mango seeds or grafted saplings. Seeds may take up to eight years to bear fruit, while grafted saplings can start bearing fruit in three years. The quicker turnaround time makes grafted saplings the preferred choice for most commercial mango farms. The next crucial decision is selecting the right variety of mango to plant. Australia boasts over 60 varieties of mangoes, each with its own unique taste, texture and growing requirements. Some varieties thrive in the tropical north, while others are more suited to subtropical climates. It's essential to match the mango variety with the region's climate for optimal growth. Once the type of mango is selected, it's time to plant. The saplings are usually planted at the onset of the rainy season. The soil must be well drained and rich in organic matter. The saplings are placed in a hole twice as wide and just as deep as the root ball. They are then covered with soil, leaving the top of the root ball exposed. This helps the young tree establish a strong root system. After planting, the saplings are watered thoroughly and regularly, especially during dry periods. Mulch is often added around the base of the tree to retain moisture and suppress weeds. And it doesn't stop there. It's not just about putting the sapling in the ground and hoping for the best. The farmers have to carefully monitor the growth of the trees, ensuring they are growing healthy and robust. They must also protect the young trees from pests and diseases, which could devastate the entire crop. Once the mango trees are planted, they require careful maintenance to ensure a bountiful harvest. But that's a story for another scene. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of mango farming in Australia. Growing mango trees isn't just about planting them and waiting for the fruit to appear. It's a process that requires care, patience, and a little bit of knowledge about the tree's needs. One of the most essential practices in maintaining mango trees is watering. These trees thrive when they receive a steady supply of water, but be careful because too much or too little can harm the tree. During the growing season, water the trees deeply but infrequently, allowing the soil to dry out somewhat between waterings. This helps the tree develop a deep, extensive root system, which in turn helps it withstand periods of drought. Pruning is another important aspect of mango tree care. Pruning is done not only to give the tree a pleasing shape, but also to remove dead wood and to encourage the growth of new fruit-bearing branches. Typically, Mango trees are pruned after harvest, during the late winter or early spring. You also need to consider pest management. Mango trees can be affected by a variety of pests, including mango weevils, fruit flies, and powdery mildew. To protect your trees, use both preventive and reactive measures. This may include using organic pesticides, introducing beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, and regularly checking the tree for signs of disease or infestation. Fertilizing is another vital practice. Mango trees benefit from a balanced fertilizer that provides a good mix of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Fertilize your trees three times a year, once in the spring, once in the summer, and once in the fall. Lastly, don't forget to mulch around your mango trees. Mulching helps to conserve water, suppress weeds, and improve soil quality. Use organic mulch like wood chips or straw and apply it in a thick layer around the base of the tree. Remember, every step you take to care for your mango trees contributes to the health of the tree and the quality of the fruit it produces. With the right care and maintenance, a single mango tree can produce thousands of mangoes each season. When the mangoes are ripe and ready, it's time for the harvest. Now, how do we know when the mangoes are ripe? Well, the answer lies in the color and the feel of the fruit. Mangoes typically start to ripen from the bottom up, changing from a vibrant green to a lovely golden yellow. They also become slightly softer to the touch. Once a majority of the fruit on the tree show these signs, it's time to get picking. 
Harvesting mangoes is a delicate process. The fruit must be hand-picked to prevent bruising. Each mango is gently twisted and pulled from the branch. It's a time-consuming process, but one that ensures the fruit reaches you in the best possible condition. Once harvested, the mangoes are transported to the packing shed. Here, they are cleaned to remove any dirt or sap that might have been left on the fruit. This is an important step as sap can cause the skin of the mango to become discolored, affecting its visual appeal. After cleaning, the mangoes are sorted. This is done based on size, color, and any visible blemishes. The sorting process is crucial as it determines the grade of the mangoes. The highest grade fruits are those that are large, vibrant in color, and free from any blemishes. These mangoes command the highest prices in the marketplace. Once sorted, the mangoes are packed. They are placed in boxes with the stem end facing upwards to prevent any sap from seeping out and discoloring the fruit. These boxes are then stored in a cool environment until they are ready to be transported. Post-harvest, the mangoes are ready to be sold. They might be sent to local markets, exported overseas, or even turned into delicious mango products like juices, jams, or dried snacks. From the tree to the marketplace, every step in the mango production process is crucial to ensuring the best quality fruit. And there you have it, the journey of a mango, from being a simple fruit on a tree to a delightful treat on your plate. So, what does it really take to produce millions of tons of mangoes in Australia? Well, it starts with precise planting, ensuring the mango seedlings are given a good start. Then, diligent maintenance is key, with careful watering, pruning, and pest control. The final step is the harvesting process, carried out with utmost care to ensure the fruit's quality. And that's how Australia produces some of the world's best mangoes. It's a labor of love, but the result is nothing short of delicious.